Stay tuned for the next Airgun Detective video. Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. Today we take the mystery out of the Umarex Legends Cowboy Rifle. This is really a fun rifle to shoot. It holds uh, 10 shells. Um, it shoots the same type of shells as you're probably familiar with. Is the Legends, uh, the, the Colt series um, side loading. Same shells, exact same, interchangeable. The great thing is, this is a smooth bore rifle designed to shoot BBs. However, you can get the pellet cartridge for it and it shoots pellets just fine. It actually shoots them quite well. Um, especially if you want to shoot at harder targets, steel targets, things like that. Pellets are always a great way to go. And the grouping is not that far off. It's amazing how well it does with a smooth bore barrel. But this uh, Umarex claims this gets around 600 feet per second and uh, we'll show you that on our crony test, what we actually get real life um, feet per second. Um, as we were saying, this rifle uh, takes both, um, it will shoot both the BB cartridges and the pellet cartridges. The reason you can tell the difference between the cartridges is obviously the BB ones are a gold or brass colored, where the other ones are more of a chrome silver color with the ones that actually shoot pellets. Um, let me show you real quick how to load these. Very simple. If you just take BBs and you throw them like into a spare pellet lid so they're just laying flat, rolling around in there, you just basically take your shell, which has a little grommet on the back, and just rough it right over the top, and a BB will settle just right down in the inside of it, just like that. So you can actually load quite a few of these pretty fast, as you can see, just like that. You just put them in the tray, and boom, you don't have to fool with it. Pellets, on the other hand, I'm sure everybody knows how to load pellets, but we'll just go, we'll just load one real quick here. Um, just the skirt towards the back, and it's as simple as sliding those in, boom, flush. That's it. That's all there is to it. As far as loading this rifle goes, there's nothing to that. That's why we have this um, side um, magazine opening. You just take the shell and you just slide it forward. Just slide it in, just like that. If you can see, pellet and BB, doesn't matter. They're the same shells except how they, the diameter for holding, whether it's a pellet or a BB. But you just slide them in just like this. And this will hold uh, 10 shells and then actually one in the chamber. And that's all there is to it. And to load it, we just cock the action. As you can see here, it's the, the shell comes in, and then you close the action, shell goes in. You can actually decock this rifle very easily, just hold your thumb right here on the trigger and the hammer and then just gently just let it go forward. That's all there is to it and it's decocked. If you want the shells out, that's as simple as flipping them out. Anyway, this is a great rifle. I'm excited to uh, take you out and uh, show you what type of real-time velocity we get. We'll do an accuracy test and we'll go from there. Hang tight. Okay, now we got the Umarex Cowboy Rifle out here for a chronograph test. Um, let's see what type of performance we're going to do. What we're going to do first is I'm going to shoot five shots with the 6.9 grain RWS hollow points, lead pellets. This thing, yes, as we talked about before, we'll shoot lead pellets. But let's see what type of velocity we do. And then we'll come back and we'll shoot five with the Daisy 5.1 grade steel BB. So let's see what we got here. So we're all loaded up with our cowboy rifle. Remember, always keep the gun pointed down range. Don't aim at anything you don't intend to shoot. All right, let's see what we got for number one. 648, and that's what's a pellet. I love the way this thing ejects the shells. All right, let's go for number two. 637. Number three, 618, which is kind of normal when CO2 starts to cool, it slows down the velocity a little bit. Okay.
back up to 637. And our final shot. Six thirty-nine, not bad. So what we're going to do is we'll um, come back and let's try the BBs and see where we're at there. Okay, now let's give the five point one grain BBs a try. Air. These chronographs—they are so light sensitive. Let's see if we can get past this. There we go, 647. Now keep in mind it's not an overly warm day, it's not a really cool day. It's about 75 degrees. 646. Got an error on that one. But we can average it out. We're seeing enough here. And 644. And there you go. So you can see a little bit more performance with the BBs over the pellets as far as speed goes. But let's, um, let's test the accuracy, the pellets versus the BBs. And as we know, this is a smooth bore barrel. It's not a rifled barrel. So let's see what actually does better, the pellets or the BBs. So we'll be back. Okay. Here we are with the Umarex Cowboy Rifle, and I thought, just for fun, let's shoot five shots with lead pellets. I know it's a smooth bore, we want to see how accurate they are. And then we're going to shoot another five shots um, with the 5.1 grain Daisy BBs. So let's see what happens. All right. Let's get this thing lined up the best we can. Now, keep in mind, I'm shooting almost 20 yards away. I wanted to bring this thing out to the farthest possible distance we, we could, just to see how we're doing here. I have no idea where those are hitting from there. But I believe that's, is that three shots? four shots and obviously we're shooting with open sights so there can be a lot of operator air here. And we're, remember we're looking for groupings. Okay that's with our uh, lead pellets so let's go ahead now and shoot with the uh, 5.1 grain BBs and see how they do. Let's give the 5.1 grain BBs a try. This is kind of a windy day, I'll be honest with you. So, and, and I am shooting open sights, and I do not have the best vision in the world. So, and we are out um, a farther distance. So, let's see what happens with the BBs. All right. And again, these are the 5.1 grain daisies, the zinc ones. As to. That's three. Four. And this will be number five. You gotta love the way it ejects these shells though. The realism is just fantastic. There you go. Well let's see what we get here. Okay, welcome back. We're gonna do some trigger testing on our Umarex Cowboy lever action rifle. Um, very good trigger on it, I can tell you. It's very smooth. Um, for the price point of this gun, you can't beat it. So let's see what we have here. All right. Two 
two pounds, 14 ounces. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. As I said, so it's an under a three pound trigger. So you have to appreciate that. Um, overall, what a great gun. Let's move on to our... We got our cowboy rifle here. Oh, by the way, these goofy glasses, they're actually uh, videotaping glasses. So if um, you're wondering why I'm wearing these, it's just to get just to try to give you guys a different perspective of shooting um, from a different angle. So we'll see how that works out. But anyway, so what I got loaded in here, I have four BBs shells and I've got six pellet shells. The pellet shells are really good for shooting if you want to shoot at like steel targets, something where a BB is not going to ricochet. And I found out, um, just fooling around, that the, this actually shoots really well with your basic RWS hobbies, the seven grains, the um, wad cutters. So that's just something to keep in mind. But with no further ado, let's do a little plinking here and see what we got. All right. Now the first four shots are BBs. I actually went through that can. Let's try pellet action here. The pellets are nice for that. Has no problem shooting the heavy eggs. Those are designed for uh, 22 um, long rifles. Yeah, so the pellets actually will work really nice in this as well. So it wouldn't hurt to pick up some pellet shells as well. But yeah. Anyway. Um, the accuracy is great for this, especially for something with open sights. But anyway, that's just a little bit of plinking for you. So let's go ahead and uh, wrap this thing up with my conclusion. And now our conclusion on the Umarex Legends Cowboy Rifle. As you can see, it is a beautiful piece. It really is. Um, the price point on this, I think it's right around $200. It's extremely realistic with how you load the shells. Um, I'm a little bit partial to the under level action, the 30-30 style rifles. The very first center fire rifle that I ever fired was a 30-30. I think I was I was about 12 years old, and I was out in the desert with my grandfather, and he bought he just bought, purchased his brand new um, Winchester 30-30, um, brand new, never been shot. So he loaded it up, and he thought it was funny because my whole experience of ever shooting any type of firearm was maybe a 22 rifle, and then mostly air guns. So as far as noise goes, I didn't know any different. Does he offer me air, air um, protection? No. Why should he? Because he thinks it's funny to hear a real loud noise for the first time for a 12-year-old. So anyway, he sets up a can about 20, 25 yards away and hands me this rifle, and uh, I load one into the chamber, 30-30, put it up, aim very, very carefully, pull the trigger, and BAM! What an explosion. It was so loud that I actually dropped the rifle right into the sand. And uh, my grandfather laughed so hard, it was unbelievable. Of course, he wasn't laughing so hard when it took him two hours to clean the rifle with all the sand in it. However, yes, I did hit the can, dead center at 12 years old. But anyway, so this reminds me a lot of that rifle. I have a, I still have that rifle to this day. When my grandmother, when grandfather passed away, um, I got that rifle. So it means a lot to me. And so, like I said, I have a sweet spot in my heart for the under lever um, uh, rifles. So this, as far as a CO2 gun, it's a lot of fun. Two CO2s go into the butt, as you know. A uh, little trick that I had, um, my CO2s weren't piercing both ends. One CO2 would pierce and not the other. Just drop a dime in between your two CO2s when you load them into the butt of this rifle, and uh, it will take care of that problem. Um, I don't know if I did cover the loading on these things, but it's very, very simple. It just, you open this piece up at the bottom, this comes out, you just unscrew this piece right here, pops out. It's just like the, it's identical to the Ruger, the video that I did on the Ruger. But anyway, and then basically it just goes back in here. But if you have problems, again, if you have any types of problems with um, 
the CO2 is piercing. Throw a dime in between the two of them. It's a simple solution. And also, if you don't feel like shooting the entire, you know, I think this thing, roughly, you're going to get about 70 good shots out of this rifle without a doubt. You'll get about 70 good shots. So if you want to do half of that, throw an empty CO2 in there along with a full CO2, and you'll still get the same performance. You'll just only get half the shots. Um, this does have a simple adjustment uh, as far as elevation goes. There's really no windage um, elevation on this. But the gun shoots right on, as you can see. It's, uh, it's actually a lot, a lot of fun. And what other air gun do you have that ejects shells? I mean, that's extremely unique. And this does shoot both pellets and BBs. And, it, and uh, I, as I was showing you when I was plinking, the, um, the uh, basic Diablos, I think I might have misspoke when I talked earlier. I talked about hobbies, but hobbies actually shoot well in this too. But the basic Diablos, seven grain, they're the, I think the most inexpensive pellets. They shoot really well out of this gun, especially if you want to shoot at metal targets, like as I was demonstrating. You don't ever want to do that with BBs because of the ricochets, but or unless you happen to use the no ricochet lead BBs. But at that point, just get the pellets. They're easy to come by, and you can use them in other guns. So I would give this um, a solid four stars, without a doubt, a solid four stars. Um, even the stock, it's plastic, but it actually looks like wood grain. So. Without a doubt, this gun gets four stars, and I would say you should add it to your collection. What's also nice, and I'm going to reemphasize, uh, re is the shells in this gun also fit the revolvers, the Colt-style revolvers. So they're interchangeable. Whether they be BB ones or pellet ones, they're all interchangeable. So that's another bonus. So there you have it. Um, with that, I hope you join us for another episode of Airgun Detectives where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Thank you.